Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Boxing Bookie. Uh, happy Columbus Day uh, if you're in North or South America. Um, we're going to get into some big news today. We're going to get into the Mendoza and Tim Zhu fight. Uh, we're going to break that down for you. We're going to show you how to make money on it. Please follow. But before we do, uh, please follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, your old form social media, the Boxing Bookie. Bookie comes at you for every fight. We'll show you how to take down the house. I don't gamble, but I will show you how to make money on every single big fight there is. Um, there's, there's always a bull market somewhere. All right. Please also subscribe to Texas Boxing Scene. That completely that, that website is completely that YouTube page is completely dedicated to Texas Boxing. That's Texas Boxing Scene. You got some new content up there for you today. Uh, please check that out. That's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All right, check this out. Uh, we're going to get into uh, Tim Zhu versus Brian Mendoza uh, for the WBO 154-pound 150 pound strap. Um, it's a big fight. Um, it's an interesting fight. It's a really, really intriguing fight. I've, I've gone back and forth on this. The odds are shocking to me, which is going to dictate why I'm, I'm betting the way that I am. Um, usually when Vegas, the bookmakers, beg you to take fighter A or B, um, they're telling you the other fighter is going to win. These odds just jump out at me too much. When they announced this fight, I thought it was a 50-50 fight. I hadn't looked at the odds because I thought they were going to move a lot. So I checked them out yesterday. I was like, you got to be kidding me. I went back to it today. They hadn't changed. Um, look, Tim Zhu and Brian Mendoza are two fighters who are hot as a, well, hot as a pistol right now. Uh, Tim Zhu is coming off. Um, you know, I, honestly, if the year ended right now, uh, Tim Zhu might be fired of the year with his ninth round destruction of Tony Harrison and his first round destruction of Carlos Ocampo. Uh, before that, he got dropped by Terrell Goucher, eked out a decision. Uh, before that, he had a less than stellar performance against um, Takashi Inoue. Um, and then before that, he fought mostly Australians things and, 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 and different things like that. Uh, Jeff Horn, Dennis Hogan, Steve Spark, he, he, he did that route. Um, I'm sorry about that. Um, Brian Mendoza. Brian Mendoza is also hot. Uh, if the year ended right now, he's definitely got the knockout of the year. Um, over Sebastian Fendora, he was down in that fight. He worked his way in and, and got Fendora out in the seventh round. Uh, before that, he destroyed Jason Rosero, dropped him multiple times on his way to, to stopping him. Um, so there's a couple of things that we want to look at. First, I like the over-under on this fight. The over-under set at nine and a half. Um, these are two guys who are going to get knockouts. Uh, I, they have questions about Tim Zhu's power. I think we put that to rest. Uh, there's no questions about Mendoza's power. And, and so Mendoza's last three fights since the Ramos loss have all ended in knockout. Um, They've got less than six rounds on average, five, five, and seven. He's knocked out Benjamin Whitaker, um, and then he's knocked out Jason Rosario and Sebastian Mendora in the fifth and the seventh. That tells me he gets knockouts. Um, Tim Zhu, his last couple of fights, his last two fights um, since Goucher, both ended in knockout, ninth and first. Uh, before that, he had gone the distance, and that's kind of when we questioned his power. But he's got... Uh, 17 knockouts in his 23 wins. So he's got a 73% knockout ratio. Um, and I said Mendoza's been on a hot streak. Mendoza's knockout percentage is 72, so it's about the same. He's got 16 knockouts in 22, in 22 wins. He's also got two losses. Both of those went the distance. Um, there were the Ramos and a split decision to somebody named Larry Gomez back in November of 2019. Uh, this was on the Carlos Adamas Patrick Teixeira card. Those are his two losses. They both went the distance. Um, but their recent power surge shows me that, that these guys are looking for knockouts and they can get them. I like Brian Mendoza. Uh, I think he's skilled on the inside and he's really good in the mid range. Right? He uses his jab, he circles, he moves. You know, he's not hyper athletic, but he's got good footwork and he pivots and rotates out. He's never in front of you really to hit him. He, he scores and he's out. Um, I think Zoo's going to have a hard time finding him, right? Um, 
Tony Harrison can't hit, so he's able to get inside on Tony Harrison. Mendoza can. I think Mendoza's better on the inside, and I think Mendoza's more defensively savvy on the inside, uh, and his strength's on the outside. Mendoza is not tall for the division, but he's going to be the taller man in this fight. So he can get, he can keep the distance at mid range and make all of his punches available to him. I really like Mendoza in this fight, and I'm going to get killed because I always pick against Zoo, and I'm going to pick against him again. Uh, I and I, it, it is a 50 50 fight. I wouldn't be shocked if Zoo wins, but when I show you the odds, you're going to understand why I'm taking a shot here on Brian Mendoza. Remember, if you think this is a 50 50 fight which I do, and I show you these odds, you're going to be shocked because I was shocked with these odds. I, I don't understand them at all, but we're going to show you how to make money on this. Tim Zhu is a minus 700 favorite, so you got to bet $700 to win one. So it's a 7 to 1 favorite. Mendoza is a 4.5 to 1 dog. Take Mendoza. Again, you could lose on this. I'm going to show you a way to how to make your money back right quick. We're going to make most of your money back if I'm wrong. Um, we're going to say this goes under 9.5. Like I said, both of these guys are averaging fights under 9.5 rounds. This is going to be an explosion, right? Like this is going to be an absolute explosion. So I'm going to say go under 9.5. So that gives you the full nine rounds and into the tenth round, right? So if it gets past the halfway mark of the tenth round, you lose. I think this has a good chance of ending before that. I really do. And the odds are just about even. It's minus one twenty-five. Okay. So what does that mean? It means if you bet a hundred dollars, these odds are moving already. Let me refresh this. They might have may have moved these. Yeah, they moved a little bit. They moved a little bit. The odds. Um, see. The odds were too big. It just went from 450 to 425. Just while we were speaking. Just while I had this page up. Um, so that's interesting. That's really, really interesting. Um, I'm you know, Like I said, I mean, it doesn't change the way I'm going to bet. It just uh, makes it a little less money. It's going to make you 425 and 80. So a $200 bet here. A $100 bet on the under pays you out 80. Um, so that... Okay. You know, so that's kind of a hedge. I, I think that's a pretty safe bet. I wouldn't do a two times bet on that. You could do a one and a half if you want. Um, and that would basically cover you. I'm not going to do that, right? It would make you 120. Um, so if, 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 because this fight's going to end a knockout. I, I think there's two possible endings to this fight Tim Zoo by knockout, Brian Mendoza by knockout. Tim Zoo by knockout. Brian Mendoza by knockout, all right? Like those are your two choices, and I think he goes under, you know, nine and a half rounds. So that's your best bet. I, I may do that. I may do a one and a half times bet on the under, a one times bet on Mendoza. So you're gonna you're gonna bet two fifty, but you can make one seventy and four twenty five. You can make five ninety five. You can make six hundred dollars on this two hundred fifty dollar bet if Mendoza wins by knockout. If to Zoo, if Zoo wins by knockout, you still make money on on, on overall. Um, you just make a, a lot less. Um, so I show you how to cover your money there. Um, you know, you walk away with twenty dollars if if I'm wrong. So again, this is how we make bets, right? Under, give me the two best scenarios. I mean, the two most likely scenarios. L let, let's leverage that against each other. Let's hedge it and let's make a smart bet. I think the smartest bet here, because of the odds, is Mendoza plus four twenty five. Under nine and a half on minus one twenty five. Um, again, these odds are moving. I, I would do that now. We got a couple of days to the fight, um, but these are, these are live odds. Um, again, this is fifty fifty fight, guys. Follow me consistently. Take all of my advice, and we will consistently make money. I will show you how to bring down the house. Okay, there's a good opportunity to make money here if Mendoza pulls this upset, which is a very good possibility that he can. Like I said, this is a 50 50 fight. Mendoza has beaten two guys who can hit, two big, strong guys that can hit, and Fandora and Rosario. He can beat Zoo. Zoo is good. He's a little raw, he's a little over aggressive. Um, he's got a really good right hand. 
So that right hand is gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna, gonna, that's what's gonna have to go for him. He's very accurate with it, but he walks into a lot of stuff. And I think when Mendoza can get on the inside, he can pivot away and he can make um, Zoo miss more. I went to study his counters. I didn't get really study how good of a counter puncher Mendoza is, uh, but I, I think he can make Zoo miss, and I, I, I think he's gonna land that uppercut on the inside. And I, and I, and I. Leaning ever so slightly towards Mendoza anyway. And these odds really just put me over the top. But this is no give me, right? We're taking a little bit of a risk here to get to this, but the odds just say that you should take it. And we can we can leverage a little bit with a, with a one and a half times bet on um on the under. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Remember, the Boxing Boogie does not bet. I'm using DraftKings. We use DraftKings for every fight that we can. Um, We can't even use DraftKings in Texas, so keep that in mind. Can't use DraftKings in Texas. Can't use Campbell. Use any of these gambling sites in Texas, I believe. I could be wrong about that, but I don't gamble. I'm just showing you how to bring down the house and you how to make consistent, how to consistently make money. Uh, because, like I said, boxing odds makers have no idea what they're doing. And if you follow me, you know that I have showed you how to make money. Can't hit home runs in all of them. This is a gamble. I think it's a smart gamble. It's calculated risk. Uh, I think this is a good fight to make money on. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, also, Texas Boxing Scene as well. It is uh, October 10th, 2023. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.